very clearly. And this moment, I think was, it was more for the disciples than really for the man. Showing them that, you know what, sometimes you need God to touch you one more time. Right after the story, they would see and Peter would declare, Jesus, you're the son of God. But it wasn't until much later they would understand what that means. It wasn't until much later they would see the Holy Spirit and be filled with a vision and a dream for their life. I can see you, but I can't see you very clearly. You have a dream. I've got a dream, but I, it's there, but I just can't. I'm not sure exactly what it looks like. I don't know how, how I'm supposed to accomplish it. I'm not really sure. And maybe you've been stuck at that level. But what I love is Jesus doesn't go, well, better luck next time. He doesn't say, well, hey, I don't know. Just, you know, God bless you. That's as much as I can do. He goes, I'm going to touch you one more time. I'm going to touch you. And, and he says his eyes were open. He could see clearly. He could see clearly. Completely restored. It was okay, you've got a bit of vision, but not clarity. I want to touch you again. Maybe in your life you need this. Maybe in your life you felt insignificant like this man, just one of the crowd. You might be here and you didn't even know there's a God in heaven who loves you or cares about you. Today, Jesus wants to call you by name, pick you out of the crowd, and do something inside of your life. You may be here and you're a believer in Jesus, but you feel like, I don't have a vision, I don't have a dream. If you would have a cry in your heart and say, God, open my eyes, I think God would do a miracle in your life. Open my eyes. He could touch you. He could do something phenomenal. Maybe it's gotten cut a little bit, Lord, you say, Lord, show me again. God, clarify. Lord, I need another touch, a second touch. Come touch me one more time. Open my eyes. Three things I want to say to you. We're going to pray this morning. And I'm telling you, I feel it right now. The Holy Spirit is here today. God is going to touch hearts this morning. He is going to fill your life with a dream, with a vision. Your eyes are going to be open and you are going to know that God is with you. You are going to know that He has called you. You are going to know there is a purpose and destiny for your life. You will never be the same again. I don't want just one more church service. I don't know what you came for. I don't want just one more Sunday service. This guy walked out completely transformed. I want to be completely transformed in the presence of Jesus because he's the healer. He's the dream giver. He's the one that opens up blind eyes. It's a good place to say amen if you say Just a little tip. Three things I want to say to you we're going to pray. Number one, number one, he's here. He's here. He's here. They bring him to Jesus. And Jesus, Jesus they, they, they come and they say, Jesus, heal him. The Bible says they begged him to heal the blind man. They begged. And what I want to tell you is just like this man needed his eyes open, some of us need our eyes open. But the encouraging thing is you're not coming to me or a church or an organization. Jesus is here. The healer is here. The one who restores is here. The one who opens blind eyes. The one who thought about you before the earth was formed and came into existence. Jesus is here right now. The solution is here. He's here in this place. And if Jesus is here, anything can happen. And the second thing I want to say to you today as we get ready to pray is this. Not only is he here, but it's you. It's you. The Bible says Jesus grabbed him by the hand and in that moment, the blind man couldn't see anything he knew. It's me, he's choosing. It's me, he's speaking. It's me he wants to do something for. It's me. He led him out of the village. It's, it's your turn. It's your time. This is the moment. This is the right atmosphere. I don't care how long it's been this way. Jesus doesn't ask him, how did you become blind? How did you lose your sight? What happened? He doesn't get into any of that. He just says, hey, it's you. It's you. It's you. It's you. And I don't care if you're young or old. I met some of the youngest people in the room today. I met some of the oldest people in the room today. Paul says it doesn't matter. God is the God of his dreams and visions to all generations. He gives it to everybody and saying it's you right now. If you've never had a dream, it's you. If you had a dream to die, it's you. If you tried and you failed, I'm telling you, it's you. If it's been a long time since you saw it clearly, it's you. He's saying it's you. Jesus is here. It's you. And not only that, but there's more. There's more. There's more. He touches him and he says, open your eyes. He goes, I see, but not clearly. And Jesus goes, hey, there's more for your life. 
however big that dream has been, however big you thought that, that you can see, I'm telling you there's something greater that God has for your life. If we could open up our heart, and if we could say, God, would you open my eyes? He showed them that this was just the beginning. He showed the disciples, God, I'm going to touch you. You're going to see me. But when the Holy Spirit comes, he's going to get dreams and visions. He's going to bring power in your life. You will never be the same again. And I came to tell us this morning at Victory Family Center, there's more. There's more than what you received last week. Come on. There's more than what you had last year. There's more than what you experienced in your life. There is more. The healer is here. Jesus is here. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to pray for three groups of people this morning. Number one, I want to pray for those that can't see at all. Just like this blind man, because you don't know Jesus. You can't see God's dream because you don't know Him. And the way you know God is you put your faith in Jesus. You don't have to try to be another person. You don't try to act. I have to try to act all different. You just need to put your faith in a Savior who died for you and grows again. And in a moment of time, He can open up your eyes. In a moment of time, He can forgive your past. In a moment of time, He can let you go from being neglected to being chosen. The Savior is here. And if you need Jesus in your heart for the first time, I want to pray for you this morning. God is going to touch you. I want to pray for those this morning that need vision in their life. You're, you're a believer, but you need vision. Like this planet, you need to say, God, open my eyes. Fill my heart with a dream. And then thirdly, I want to pray for those of us that need to see more clearly. You need clarity. God, you've touched me. There's been moments where I felt like my life was full, but today it's a little blurry. Come another time. Touch me another time. Let your presence come on my life another time. I want to see more would you touch me? These three groups of people. So the first, if you're here today, you're not a Christian. And by that I just mean you may have gone to church before, you might believe in God, or maybe not. You could be here for the first time, but there's never been one moment of time where you made a decision to say, Jesus, I want you in my heart. What you did on the cross, I want it for me. I want forgiveness. I want to know you. If that's what you're saying this morning, Maybe you're here and there was a time you believed in God, but if you were honest today, you are far away from Him. This is for you too. If that's what you're saying, I want to pray for you. And so in a moment, I'm going to count to three, and at the count of three, everyone...